Hashtag Ghana Precincts. Paragraph and Paragraphing. Programmed by John Ferguson Aditi. A paragraph is a group of sentences about one subject or idea. A paragraph is made up of a topic sentence and detail or supporting sentence. The topic sentence tells the main idea of the paragraph. It is often the first sentence of the paragraph. Detail sentences add facts and information about the main idea. The paragraph has three parts. 1. The topic sentence. 2. The body or middle part. 3. The closing sentence. Look at the example below. Valentine's Day brings along an unending happiness. This is a topic sentence. The sellers display a series of red flowers, Valentine's cards and red dresses during the day. People inevitably buy them, and they present them to their friends. In the evening, lovers and friends go to important places to entertain themselves. This is the body to the piece. The main purpose of the Valentine's Day is sharing and relating to people. This is the closing sentence to the piece. Focus on the parts. The topic sentence. A topic sentence names the subject. Example. Valentine's Day brings along an unending happiness. The body. The sentences in the body explain or describe the subject. All of the ideas in the body should be stated in the order. Example. Sellers display items. People buy them, and present to their friends. Lovers and friends entertain themselves. The closing sentence. The last sentence, reminds readers of what the paragraph is about. Example. The main purpose of the Valentine's Day, is sharing and relating to friends. Types of paragraphs. There are four types of paragraphs. Narrative, descriptive, persuasive, and expository. Each one does something different. Persuasive paragraph. Tells how the writer feels about something, and gives reasons why. It also tries to get readers to agree with the writer. As you read the model by Irene Quonsa, watch out for reasons that make writers' opinion strong. Study the following very well, and answer the questions that follow. The best junior high school. Action Junior High School is the best junior high school in Ghana. It is located at Madina, in the suburb of Accra. 
It has mighty buildings, well-designed compound, and better security. The teachers are learned, committed and disciplined. They teach well, and they encourage every student to learn hard. The students are well supervised to learn extremely well. The school has various programs, designed to build the individual's career outside the classroom. Moderate school fees are charged. I think everyone should attend Action Junior High School. Exercise. Answer the following questions about the model. 1. Where does the writer indicate what the paragraph is about? 2. What reasons does the writer give to join the Action Junior High School? 3. Write a persuasive paragraph about things at home, in school, and in your community. Try to get the reader to agree with you. Make a plan. In your first sentence, identify your topic and tell how you feel about it. Give reasons why you feel that way. Expository or informative paragraph explains something or gives information. It includes all the facts and details about a topic that a reader needs to understand the subject. Amina's paragraph tells about how to bath a little child. Bathing a little child. It's easy to bath a little child. Though every little child dreads to bath, it's a fun when someone baths him or her playfully. You need soap, water, sponge and towel to bath a child. First, apply soap on the sponge and wet it with water. Next, rub the body of the child thoroughly with the soapy sponge. Wash him or her with water to clean the suds. Finally, towel him or her dry. Caress a child after bathing. <coughs> Exercise. Answer these questions. 1. What is the main idea of Amina's paragraph? 2. What details does she give to explain her main idea? 3. Do all the sentences tell about the main idea? 4. Find a topic you know a lot about. Tell about it in a paragraph. Make a plan. Stat your paragraph with a topic sentence. It should tell about the main idea. Include facts and details in the next sentences. All the sentences should tell more about your main idea. A narrative paragraph tells a story about an event or something that really happened. The events, characters, and setting are real. Always the writer is the main character.
Read this model by Rita. Late for school. Last Friday, I went to school late. I slept late the previous night. It was my favorite program on the television that caused it. It was already 8 o'clock, and I was still in bed snoring. My mother woke me up. I stretched and yawned lazily. Then I quickly hid my bath, and I put on my school uniform. There was no time for breakfast. I rushed out of the door, and I ran as fast as I could. When I got to the school, I was punished because I was late. Exercise. Answer these questions. 1. How does the writer show that the story really happened to him? 2. How does the writer feel about what he did? 3. Write your own narrative paragraph. 4. Make a plan. Start your paragraph with a topic sentence that indicates who, when, and where. 5. Tell the story. Use words, or connectives like first, then, also. Later, to make the order of the story clear. Use words that tell how things looked, sounded, smelled, tasted, and felt. Descriptive paragraph. Describes a person, place, or thing. A good descriptive paragraph uses words that help readers hear, smell, feel, and taste the subject. In my village, the writer describes his village. My village. My village is really close to nature. It has thatch houses and they are sparsely scattered on a hilly piece of land. The river in the village bubbles all along. It serves as a source of water in the village. Nothing compares to its marvelous taste. It's always cold at night, and one can't sleep without being covered in thick clothes. The fragrance of the flowers and trees also filled the air in the night. There are also different kinds of animals that make different sounds at night. Exercise Answer these questions. 1. What is the topic sentence? 2. Find three descriptive words in the model. 3. Write about something you would like to describe. Pick a person, a place, or a thing you know well. Make a plan. Begin with a topic sentence that tells who or what you are describing.
give details that tell about your subject. Use the describing words. Organize your details, so that they make a clear picture of your subject.